Don't be that type of person who neglects people's disability. Let me show you a plugin that's going to help your website be more accessible and inclusive to all your visitors. It's called Ali and it's from Elementor. So let me show you how it works. Now, right now you can sign up for Ali and yes, they do have a free plan that is totally usable. So this is Ali. You can get started right now in the link in the description. And this plugin is going to help you stay within regulations for being an accessible site. And you'll be able to comply with WCAG, ADA, and EAA for these improvements with this plugin. Now, by activating this plugin, you'll get access to the usability widget, which is super useful. Even if you don't make the other changes, I think that this widget is key for your website. You'll also get the option to create a super easy accessible statement. And my favorite feature is the Alley Assistant, which is going to scan each one of your pages and let you know what needs to be tweaked in order to comply with being accessible, right? So let's get started. This is Ali and it's installed already on my website and it's just super easy to get started. Once you install it, the first thing I would recommend that you take a look at the widget that's installed on the website. In this case, here is the widget and it can make your text bigger, bigger line height, text align, readable font, grayscale, etc. We'll go through these in a bit. But I do recommend that you go through this first because you're going to understand why when it scans, it gives you certain suggestions. So go ahead and go to design, customize your widget, select the style of the icon, color, size, the position. Once you're good to go, go to capabilities and enable and disable the capabilities that you want to have on that widget. In this case, by default, these are the ones that are enabled. I enabled this one because I think it's important the screen reader, but you can enable all of them if you like, but it's up to you, right? And you can remove the ones that you think you might not need, right? So once you have that enabled, you'll have this fantastic widget that is going to be super useful for people who actually need it by making text bigger. And just with a quick click, you'll be able to improve the text size for people who can read small uh, font. For in this case, this is smaller font that might be a good size for someone. This might be too much, but you get the idea of how this is going to work. You can also make line height bigger. That means that it's going to separate each one of these line height rows. So that makes it better for people to read the text align. Maybe the alignment is kind of off. This will help it out. Readable font. There we go. It's going to do capital letters or minimal font. The gray scale in case someone is colorblind, this would help out. The contrast is going to really make contrast so they can read even better the here we go let me go ahead and remove that one the page structure so if someone goes to a certain section so let's go to the cottage for example it'll take you to that section by going and using the page structure you can also see the screen reader let me, let me reading go ahead. page normal one of three so i've just enabled the reading of the section so i'll click on this visited link to vila so you get the screen idea reader enabled reading pace normal one of three Okay, so I went to another section. Now, the reason I tell you that you check out this widget is because if I click on one of these links and it doesn't say anything, it doesn't have that description. An image of. An image of what? I mean, I don't know what I need there. And one of the things that when Ali scans her website, it's going to tell you that that is missing, all right? Unabled now, element. Read, reads. Okay, let's go ahead and remove that. There's a reading mask, so you can highlight what you want to read in case it's something like reading for a book or really long text that would help out you can hide images just to keep more a more clear view uh, pause animations in case it has some animations and it's just kind of distracting outline focus highlight links and it's just super useful to enable this and yes you can remove the widget for a few hours a week etc in case you want to do that right now that is for the capabilities of the widget which i think is super important but one of the things that, that Ali really shines is the scans that it does on your pages. Now, I've already scanned the home page, but I'm going to do a brand new scan for one of these pages. So I'm going to do the listing page and we're going to get a new icon for one of for each one of these pages for the post, etc. Right. So this is one of the pages here for the listings. I'm going to scan this URL and Ali is going to do his job. Now, Ali has implemented AI into this to help you resolve most of the issues, so you don't need to do everything manually, all right? So here we go. It is now done, and it found 98 issues on this page that are, well, not complying with accessibility, all right? So I can write a new scan in case I made some changes, but in this case, 
here's the issue so we got the alternative text okay and here we go we kind of can see that image but this one is a decorative image so i'm gonna mark that as resolved let's go to the next issue now we're two out of 17 but we're gonna go to the next one let me find something that is interesting even though those icons are important that have details so here we go I'm, this heart which is to favorite this particular listing right so i can go ahead and type in the description right here or i can use the ai magic here so let's go ahead and generate this and it's going to be super easy plus it's going to detect the image and it's going to write here what it is and here we go and a vibrant pink heart in pixel art style on a black background right so it's not a black background i'm just going to remove that here we go let's go ahead and mark this as resolved here we go and we're going to go through these so it be it makes it more accessible when the reader selects that option enables the reader option on the widget and they select this it's going to read it out it's going to tell me you know what this is the heart and i could be more clear there by saying that this is where you're going to favorite right now we also have these form and input errors so here we go unclear form labels let's go ahead and select this and here we go every form field must have a label in this case it doesn't have a label so where is it in this section let ai resolve it for you yeah let ai do the job so enable that give it a few seconds and here we go it now has a description inside of here it wrote it inside of the html so i am going to apply that fix here we go and we're going to jump into the next one so now it's about the the comment rating let ai solve it and you go through these with ai and it's going to help you solve this super easily with ali so that is for the unclear form label i'm not going to solve these on the video but you get the idea and then we have the percentage here of how it's going on right next keyboard and assist assistive next keyboard and assistive technology so orientation lock issue so there's an orientation here where is it it's this is the code let's go ahead and do ai for this and it's gonna give me a better output for the html here we go i'm going to apply the fix and you're going to be able to do this so on and so forth with these link purpose unclear and just go through these until you fix them all this will help you be uh, more compliant with accessibility uh, norms so let's go ahead and see the page structure and navigation so we got content outside of landmarks so here it is where is it it's highlighted right here there's some issues there and the reason it is telling you this is because all content must be placed inside of clear section landmarks in this case, I will have to do this manually, but you get the idea that it's telling you where the issues are so you can go ahead and resolve them, which I think is a fantastic uh, option here for Ali to let us know where it is. And then we have color contrast. In this case, I have a score of 1.06 and it should be 5 or 4.1. 4 so in this case, I have the option to let me know where these issues are and some of the options will tell me where I can make the changes. So here we go. I can make this, the change straight from here. This is a button and there's an issue with the contrast. So there's a 3.52% here. I'm able to modify this to comply. Uh, in this case, I am going to just leave it there for testing purposes. I'm going to apply the changes and that percentage should be reflects here. So 6% fixed out of almost 100 issues found. So you can go through these one by one. Ali is going to detect the issues and you'll be able to fix most of them just with the ai here on alley and some of them will need the manual touch to get them fixed but i think it's a fantastic option to use alley on your website scan all your pages and get them prepared for the accessibility compliance so it's just super easy to do with alley and that widget that you're going to get access to with alley i think is really important that you enable that and enable the capabilities that you want to have on your site and once you're good to go, I do recommend that you set up your statement. If you have one, go ahead and select this. If you don't select that, I need one. Go ahead and continue. Give our name here. In this case, here we go. Create the statement and it's going to automatically uh, add it there. So it's compliant with the regulations. Plus, it's going to be available in the widget. You can see here I can switch the page in case I manually create one and I still want to use the widget to have that there. Or I can hide the link in case I don't want to enable it there and add the statement somewhere else in my footer. So it's a really easy option to add here. And then we have the analytics to understand what people who are viewing your site are actually using when they use the widget. For example, the widget was open five times. We got the feature usage and the most used features. This will help you understand what people are using most. And this will help you also understand what the biggest issues are on your website. 
So if they need to make the text bigger, I mean, if that's like the most trending feature that people are using, well, maybe there's an issue with your site. Maybe your text is too small. So in general, not because someone might not be able to read it, it's just because it's too small. So you need to analyze that there. So this, these analytics will help you find out if you have any issues on your website. So definitely recommend that grab Ali right now. And remember there is a free version that you can start using right now. So go ahead and sign up. And that is a wrap for Ali.